today I'm going to make a pepper mill. I've um, chose the Procraft four and a half inch crank top pepper mill kit. Um, it's supposed to be really easy to use. It looks really easy to use. Let's give it a go. So this is what you get on the kit. So this is the the grinder part. So there's the base. There's the grinder section. There's the re the spring. There's the top part. There's the top crank, and there's the shaft that goes through the centre. Apparently, all you need to make a pepper mill with this kit is a 25 mil force and a bit and a 38 mil force and a bit, and uh, you're good to go. So what I'm going to use is a piece of oak, and I'm gonna. You can either leave it square and just drill it on the drill the holes uh, or uh, which I'm going to do I'm going to turn this round on the lathe here we go so here's the piece of oak um, do need to be careful when you're turning this uh, because we are going to have a 38 mil um, hole this end so you don't want to go um, too near that hole so I just need to be careful about how close I'll get to the hole. Let's see. So I found some cracks in this piece of oak and I've put some super glue in there and sanded it back on. When I was doing that now I found another one. So I've just done that as well. And I'm not overly pleased with this piece of oak to be honest. It's, uh, it's got quite a few cracks in it, which I didn't see before. Um, when you buy things like this off of the internet to make pepper pots and, and bits and pieces, um, you expect a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I'm not overly pleased with that. Not for the money that you pay. Anyway, carry on. So, I'll just put a bit of sanding sealer on there now. So I've turned the oak one, I've still yet to drill the holes in and through, uh, I've not quite finished it yet, I need to put it back on the lathe just to polish it up before I do the um, holes either end or all the way through to take the mechanism. Um, I've also done another one um, and this is a bit of beach that I've had laying around for ages. Um, so <clears throat> this is going to be the pepper. And this is going to be the salt. I'm just about to. Um, I put, I've done one coat of sealer. I've done five coats of sealer on this one. I've done one coat of sealer on there. Um, this beach seems to be really nice to to to, um, to play with. Um, so it's certainly a lot easier to play with than um, the oak, especially as this has had lots of splits in it, which I've had to put some super glue in these to um, seal these up. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to put some few more coats of sealer on this and then um, I'll part this off and oh no I won't, I'll polish this up, polish the other one up and then I'll, st I'll start drilling the holes. So 
So there you go, I've turned this on the lathe and it's a nice piece of oak. I had a couple of cracks in it that I've sorted out. I've drilled the 25 mil hole all the way through. Um, I thought I had a 38 mil bit, well I didn't, um, it was 35, so this should be 38. So I turned that on the lathe as well, both sides. Um, so that's ready to take the mechanism now. So here we go. This is the shaft that goes through the center. Here's the lower part of the grinder. There's the upper part of the grinder. Once they're like this, we put the spring on top. And then we put the retainer or spring retainer on top of that. Then we've got this piece here. Now I've removed the blue uh, covering that protects the metal from scratches. And I'm going to put that over there like that. So if you have a look at the shape of this, this shape goes to the outside, so to the bottom. So this drops in and we need to line all these bits up with the screw holes that I've drilled in, pre-drilled these screw holes with a one mil drill bit, like so. So that's lined up. Then we put this piece on top and that's to retain the grinder against the spring. And that's the adjuster spring. And then we get the little tiny screws up the side and screw them in that's one side oh that's two so that's going to hold the grinder in place at the bottom now we're not what we need is a piece for the top so here we come through the top here this is the shaft holders for the top to hold the shaft in the middle. Like so, line the holes up. Again, we've got two little tiny screws. Like so, I'll be out of camera shot just for a minute while I get this started off. So that side oh, okay and that's that Ooh. side and they're down tightened right down like so that's it and now we've got the bubble to the top. Now this is the handle at the top of the grinder. There we go, nice chrome top. Make sure we get that lined up with a bit like so. And there we go. One pepper grinder, all ready to go. So I've used food safe wax around the outside of it, which is Hampshire Sheen, um, food and toy safe. I've used that on the outside of this oak pepper grinder. And I have done another one as well which is the salt one and I think I've made that out of beach. So there you go. I'm a little bit dusty. Um that's my salt and pepper um grinders. Um got the kits from Procraft. 
um, you can find them at procraft.co.uk and you'll find these these kits for sale on their website um, so there's there's me salt there's me pepper I'm pretty happy with them they're not they're not fantastic I, I could have done a bit better um, I, are they easy to make yes yes they are they are easy to make um, so it says it is what it says on the tin um, so there you go there's there's me pepper one and this one's actually got salt in it already I've already tried it look at that that mechanism works absolutely grand um, yeah very pleased very pleased um, any comments just leave them below and um, I'll leave a link for Procraft in the description as well okay hope you like that don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next week bye bye